very, very simple process, and you can really do it one of two ways. Number one, our rehab team can go ahead and get your property winterized for the winter months. And all you would do is go to our website, chaseforeclosure.com, and we have a rehab order form. You just fill that out quickly, hit submit, and that gets sent over to the rehab team, and they'll go ahead and get the property winterized. If you want to do it yourself, you can absolutely do it, and I'm going to take you through some of the steps of getting the property winterized. The first step in winterizing your property is getting the water shut off at the main inside the house. Then after you've got the water shut off, you want to go ahead and drain the lines throughout the property, the sinks, uh, any of the faucets, um, tubs, uh, flushing the toilets, getting the water out of those lines as best as you can. Then after that, it's getting the temperature set to 58 degrees, so it's warm enough to show the property, but it's not costing you a lot of money to heat the property while the home is vacant. And then after that, it's placing a little notice on the counter for uh, agents not to use the toilets, and also for home inspection, uh, home inspectors, when a home inspector wants to do a home inspection on the property, they're going to need to know that they need to turn the water on at the main, and then after they're completed with the home inspection, shut the water off at the main. So I'll take you through some of the steps. It's very, very simple. The only couple things that you want to think about is if the property does have a sprinkler system, you do not want to turn the water off at the main on those properties. And if it is a townhouse that's interconnected where uh, multiple units are connected to one main shutoff, and that's very, very rare, uh, but we bumped into that on occasion, and you will need to uh, leave the water on at the property and make sure that the heat is on at the house as well. So I'll take you through those steps right now. Now the key part is to find where the main is located inside the property. Once you locate the main, should be right near the water meter. All you do is go ahead and shut the water off by hitting the valve. And you'll hear the water shut off to the exterior of the property. After you've shut the water off at the main inside the property, you want to go to each one of the sinks, toilets, tubs, and you want to go ahead and drain the line to each one of those uh, areas. And so at the kitchen sink here, we're going to let that go ahead and run out, the water run out of the line, and eventually the water will completely run out of the line. No longer will any water come out. Essentially, we've winterized this particular area of the home. You'll want to make sure that the furnace is set to heat. So make sure that the furnace thermostat is set to heat and then reduce the thermostat to 58 degrees. That will keep the property again warm enough to show, but it will also deter the pipes from freezing inside the property. This is the document that you can place on the countertop that number one lets the buyers and agents know to please do not use the toilets at the property as the water has been shut off. It also allows the home inspector and real estate broker to know when they're going to conduct a home inspection that the water is turned off and they can go ahead and turn the water on for their home inspection, but it's a reminder to them to go ahead and turn the water back off to the property after they have completed that home inspection. This document can be found on chaseforeclosure.com we have it under our news section, and if you search by winterization, you can download this as a PDF and print it out and bring it to the property. Our rehab teams also have this form, and they'll go ahead and place that inside the property if they are doing the winterization. Winterization is a rather simple process. Now, you can go into more detailed type winterization where antifreezes drop down the lines, the lines are blown out with an air compressor. That's typically used on a foreclosed home where there is no heat to the property. So there is another level you could take it to. Um, with our clients, they typically don't go to that level of winterization as the property is being managed, it's being shown, 
and uh, the heat is on to the property so there should not be an issue of having to go to that level but you absolutely can take it there if you would like. Um, the biggest thing that I worry about is in the months of January and February where we get the call of oh, a pipe broke and now we have $10,000 worth of water damage. Um, we don't want to have to get into an insurance claim on that. That's only going to increase your rates by making claims uh, on one of these properties because of a broken pipe. It's a simple fix by turning the water off at the main, draining the lines, and then that way if the furnace was to go out at the property, uh, the pipe could break, there could be a break, but that might be a hundred dollar cost to fix the pipe and the drywall and a little bit of painting. But if the water's on at the main and it just runs and no one's here for a few days, um, that could be a real costly expense and we want to ensure that that does not happen. So again, you can grab the forms at chaseforeclosure.com uh, to go ahead and place the form on the, the countertop, that document, or you can go ahead and just order the rehab team to come out and go ahead and winterize the property as well. Thanks for watching today.